Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for checking in with us today. We're checking out a 57 T-Bird Roadster. Now listen, man, in the world of iconic vehicles, uh, the 67 Corvette Roadster, uh, several other small uh, amounts of cars fit into the world's greatest cars, and one of the cars that's always in the top 10 is the last year T-Bird. This car here started uh, what I feel is one of the greatest styling trends of, of any type of car. And as we walk around, you can see the jet age is built into here. Uh, we had just started exploring uh, high speed altitudes with the jet engine, and it's uh, all incorporated into the styling here to give you a feeling that when you're driving this cool car, you had a little bit of jet power uh, underneath of you. So we start with, for instance, like the fresh air induction in here, right? Which is this great looking molded in hood scoop. All right. Regardless of the color that you get, you get this great uh, turquoise uh, Thunderbird emblem. All right. And then you get the air intakes here as part of the jet engine. And then what you do get that you don't get on a lot of other cars is spectacular red paint. So come on up here. Let's take a peek at that real quick. Now, see what I want you to do? I'd like you just to be able to read the window sticker there. You see how you can read everything? I can hold this down and not see the front of it and read all that to you. Original uh, this and the... Uh, fully restored white interior and it's just uh, it's that's the kind of paint you need to be looking for and that's what you should be thinking about when you're buying a car especially a car online a car like this not only looks great in pictures it looks great in this video okay but we also include free enclosed door-to-door -door shipping at the offered price and we include a one-year warranty I doubt the other people are doing that and if they're not maybe ask them why they're not maybe they can all right all right so as we peek around let's go on let's check out some of the other things uh, restoration wise so fender vents right here okay wide white radials and body color painted wheels now the way that works is typically they came with wide white belted tires and the radial came out in the early 70s and one of the biggest improvements of cars period this car drives so beautifully but still retains some of its period correct look but has this great look to it this right here can you guys see the turbine engine in the wheel cover you can see the turbines around here the center portion just like today's modern jet would have they were already incorporated here. And we're talking about the 50s. This video is being done uh, close to 2015. Uh, and that's, uh, we're heading to the 60 year mark. 60 years that this car has been around and it's beautifully restored. What a piece of history, okay? This is awesome too, because these are fresh air vents and you'd operate those from inside the car, okay? And those right there would pull fresh air right inside on your feet and they work beautifully as well. All right? So let's keep walking around for a little bit. So they did a nice job uh, with things like the vent windows here, okay? These are adjustable, all right? And pieces of chrome, they could have easily just put uh, stainless there, but they spent the time putting the chrome in here. The door locks have a spring-loaded catch to them, okay? And the fender skirts as well. Now the fender skirts can come off and gives you a totally different look of the car. So if you want to, sometimes you might want to put on Sometimes you want to take them off. They're actually very easy to take off and a really nice feature to have, uh, especially if you're looking for a dual sport kind of car. All right, so come on back here because this is what I want to show you as well. One of the great styling trends of this car is the porthole hardtop. Beautifully restored. It's white too, which makes a totally different look for the car. It gives it like a convertible look, but you have that great all season uh, hardtop ability. And this right here is all restored inside. So you can see that, check that out. All new headliner new chrome, even the glass is new, uh, the latches are re-chromed, everything's in place that you need to to uh, put it on if you wanted to, all right? And the great thing about it is this is a car you could drive all season. The heater works beautifully in the car. We could add air conditioning if you wanted to, no big deal. We even convert these to automatic. Some people like an automatic, some people like manual. Either one, we can do that for you right here. Okay, cool. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about the trunk for just a second and show you some of the detail here. So I pulled out some pieces so you can see that they were all uh, painted. And this right here is nice. I don't know why you need a fire extinguisher, but some people have a show car like to have that. But what I wanted to show you was we had a full size fair, <coughs> excuse me, that matches the others. It's a wide white with a painted wheel. Also has a jack that's detailed, all right? And as Arch gets around and shows you some of the stuff on the other side, he can show you some of those things like that stuff there. Okay, nice looking, nicely done, nice detail. That's the way you want to buy a car, turnkey and ready to go. All right, so no T-Bird is complete without the restoration of the rear bumper. 
For instance, the exhaust comes through the rear bumper here, okay? So this has all been re and redone. New emblems here. Again, here we are, the jet age. You can see the turbine coming out. This is the flame of the engine and the wings, which is uh, the 57 kind of signature, right? Uh, very similar to like a 57 Bel Air, had those kinds of things as well. This is probably one of the most beautiful and iconic uh, cars ever, and on top of it, this is a fabulous, fabulous representation of a T-Bird. All right, let's check under the hood and see uh, uh, how detailed and what that power plant looks like. All right, so this is where, uh, if you went to a car show, this is where you're going to shine. This is the detail, this is the time, this is the effort, although the underneath this car is all painted and detailed, the chassis is painted, it was a complete body off restoration. Under here, it takes a lot of effort to get all the different colors and decals and wiring and fixtures and blower and all those good things working properly. And uh, I want to spend some time showing you that. So this is the, uh, the largest engine you could get during that time, cubic inch wise. It's 312 cubic inches, all right? This has a correct T-Bird style battery. This right here is a gasket here, which seals out the rain, but allows fresh air to come into uh, the air cleaner uh, in this area back here. So it gets fresh cold air, which is a lot more powerful. You got correct Ford hoses, little stuff like the correct clamps, or period correct clamps. You say, well, what's the big deal about a period correct clamp? Well, the big deal is that this is 10 times the price of a regular clamp. And if you're restoring a car and you're going to the detail to buy this type of hose and this type of clamp, then obviously uh, the rest of the car uh, should meet those things as well. So, for instance, like the voltage regulator there, all nice and detailed. The correct wiring is in there with the correct wrapping on the wire, circa 1957. The blower itself, all detailed with the correct clamps and bellows that's over there. All right, something here we forgot to ask about, and that's power steering. This car has power steering. Power steering was not standard back then, and uh, to find it on a car is a really, really nice feature, because today's modern car has it, we just forget to ask about it. Anyway, it's beautifully detailed under here. You can see the, all the new suspension, new bushings, uh, control arms, uh, the fan is even detailed. You know, the fan blade is one color, the spacer's another color, the pulley's another color. Just uh, uh, those are the kinds of things you really need to be looking for when you're getting a classic car. So you can see the effort and time that goes into something like this versus one that's uh, half the price that's online and you get it and it's going to cost you three times as much to restore it than this car is. All right, so let's, uh, let's get inside here where you're going to sit. So this is where you're going to spend most of your time. All right, so part of the restoration, although the paint is beautiful, the frame is painted, everything underneath is new, the interior is an important part of it. And restore a T-Bird interior is expensive, and the reason why is because you can't buy every part to replace it. Some parts you have to send out and get re-chromed, some parts uh, are replated different things, and it's just uh, a lot of work, a restored steering wheel since they don't reproduce a steering wheel, uh, those kinds of things. So for instance, like this has the town and country radio, okay, which everybody has heard of, but they never knew what it was basically local and distance, okay? All in its place right here. The engine turn dash, the heating and defrosting uh, arena setup right there, okay? Even has uh, a cigarette lighter, non-smoker, okay? So in case you do smoke, you'd be the first one to smoke in it, at least according to the lighter. Little stuff that says that this is a great restoration or things like they went ahead and put the snaps in all the way around here for the tonneau cover. What you might want to do is take uh, the tonneau cover and it just snaps in here and covers the interior so that if you went out someplace and wanted to go, uh, you know, go to dinner or leave it for a few hours, it doesn't get dirty inside, people aren't peering in so much and it's covered in case, you know, it, it, you got caught in the rain. So it's uh, actually a really nice feature. Um, this has the full dash as well, so it has a tachometer, a fuel gauge, a temperature gauge, even the clock works in this car. So you say, well, what's the big deal about the clock? Well, the truth of the matter is the clock didn't really work two years after it was new. To work 50 or 60 years later is pretty impressive. And I think that if you find that uh, a car like that, that's a good sign of kind of the restoration that you're getting on a car. Okay, a lot of people don't know that uh, the Petit Bird has telescopic steering. So for instance, you turn that collar, adjust it to wherever you want, okay, and then lock it down which is pretty cool. Most people don't know that. In this case here, this has a three-speed manual with overdrive. Pull that out right there, and you got four speeds, and you got plenty of cruising ability. And if you want to, we convert these uh, for people all the time to automatic transmission because they don't feel like shifting anymore. So whichever one you want, easy to accommodate. 
all new red and white interior in here, the correct floor mats, uh, even the T-Bird mats in here, the engine turn dash. This, so some other features we looked at, because this car is loaded with equipment, it has power seat. How cool is this, man? We're talking 1957. This is almost 2015. This is a pretty cool piece, right? Power windows. This car is restored and it's beautiful. It has so much great equipment in it. And just look at it. Step back, take a second, look at the pictures, look at the video again, and look at the amount of effort put into the restoration down to somebody who painted uh, the jack and detailed all of that. I mean, seriously, who does that? The guy that does that is the guy who really uh, wanted to restore the car properly, and now it's probably your turn to take it and uh, enjoy it for a little while. All right, so let's just run down real quick. Last year, T-Bird, with the porthole hardtop, okay, in beautiful red paint, all right? Power windows, power seat, power steering, frame off restoration, wide white radials. I don't need to say any more other than if there's any way that you have thought about a T-Bird in your lifetime, this is definitely the one that you should have. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.